Hey everybody, I wanted to show you a quick tip that helped me when I started making shirts before I had my shirt ruler and my chalk pen. So it's a two-step process. So the first step would be to just take your shirt and you're gonna fold it in half right down the center and then just lay it down. Make sure everything's lined up, everything's even and smoothed out. That way you'll have a nice, good, even crease. And then I'm gonna grab a piece of parchment paper and just place that over the top. And I'll press it for about five to 10 seconds just to make sure I get a really good crease that I can see on the shirt. And so once that few seconds have gone by, I remove my parchment paper. And then once I open up the shirt, you'll see that I have a nice good crease right down the center. And so then I'll grab it right underneath the armpits and fold it over. And then you just want to lay that down and make sure it's even and you smooth everything out before you press it to prevent from having a crooked crease. So once I have that where I feel is good, then I'm gonna go ahead and grab that parchment paper and same process of pressing for about five to 10 seconds just to make sure you have a good crease in your shirt. And then you'll see once I open that up, how I'll have a nice crease going in both directions. So one right down the center and one right across. Now I always use my uh, shirt ruler and the way I use that, I just line it up around the collar of the shirt and then I'll take my chalk pen and just put two small dots on the shirt and I'll just use the eraser that's on there once I press everything and erase those chalk marks. And so I have this rhinestone transfer I'm gonna press on this shirt and it's a pretty large image. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the shirt up some just to make sure I do have my placement where I want it. So then I'll go ahead and peel back the transfer from the backing paper carefully and keyword carefully when you're working with the rhinestone transfers, you wanna take your time so it doesn't accidentally fold over and stick and your stones shift or move. And so another thing that I like to do is fold my transfer in half and just pinch just the top of it just a little bit. And that'll also give me a little bit of guidance as well as far as where I want to lay my image. So I'm actually lining this up to that center seam that I pressed on there and then those two chalk marks. And so I'll just make sure I have the image where I want it before I lay it all the way down. And so once I have it where I feel is perfect, then I'm gonna just go ahead and lightly press over that. And then I'll grab my parchment paper and I like to press my transfers at 340 degrees for about 40 to 45 seconds. And so once that's done, I'll slowly peel back my hot fix tape just in case some stones don't stick or something. I'll lay it back down and repress. With this shirt, I did have an extra stone on there. And so if this ever happens before that stone starts to cool down, you want to grab your tweezers and get that stone off of there right away. Otherwise, once it dries, it's on there. And so here's the finished shirt. I hope this tip helps.